Good morning, Bears. This is the Monday edition of the WBBN News. I'm Destiny. And I'm Danilia. We have a lot going on, so please listen up to the following announcements. Bayside Seniors, the guidance department is having a fast for drawing for a chance at earning a $50 Walmart gift card. Seniors that have completed an error-free application on the FAFSA site are eligible. Log on to fafsa.ed.gov to complete your application today. If you need help, see your counselor for more information. If you haven't purchased a yearbook yet, there is still a chance to reserve your copy. Yearbooks can be bought on yearbookforever.com for $80. The price will go up next year, so act now. Track conditioning will take place today and Wednesday after school. Please meet the coaches by the bear. Any athlete who would like to participate, please make sure you have a physical submitted to home campus. If you have any questions, see Coach Emmo and Guidance. Brevard Public Schools is bringing back the Youth Truth Survey. This survey is where you, the student, get to share how you feel about your school and your experiences. This survey will take place on January 9th during homeroom. We encourage everyone to participate and make your voice heard. We'll be right back after this. JV? Oh, it's the boys all the way. The boys may have a good shot at the JV game, but I don't know, our JV girls are pretty tough. It better be the girls. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the girls. Varsity girls, I think. Varsity girls, varsity girls. Varsity girls all day. Yeah. The boys. Um, I'm going for the boys, because those are my dogs. Uh, the girls. The girls. Men. I got the girls. Lo yeah, low-key the girls, but I'm hoping the boys do good. Like, I think it'd be hilarious if the boys won. Hopefully the boys, but I think they have a lot coming for them. Enjoy your senior year and know that all your families love you. We love you! I had a great season with them and I hope they do well. They all know I love them. Um, they are all destined for really great things. They are really good people inside and out and to live every day as though it's your last. Don't wait to do anything, do it now because you're never guaranteed tomorrow. Leave it all on the court, it goes by really fast. Yeah, the same. Enjoy your time. It's over before you know it. <laughs> Enjoy the time and make sure you take, like, don't take anything for granted. This week's College Spotlight is on Florida Institute of Technology, located here in Melbourne, Florida. Florida Tech is a small, private, nonprofit STEM university that was established in 1958. 
Since Florida Tech is a relatively small university with a total student enrollment of around 3,643, Florida Tech has a 14 to 1 student to faculty ratio with a third of the main campus undergraduate students being international. In addition to offering many STEM degrees, they also offer degrees in business, psychology, liberal arts, and aeronautics. Even though they don't have law school, they do offer biomedical degrees and flight courses to earn your pilot's license. Florida Tech also offers many research opportunities so students can get hands-on experience. In order to become a Florida Tech Panther, you must maintain at least a 3.0 GPA and a rigorous academic schedule during high school. Additionally, you'll need to score at least a 1,130 or higher on the SAT or a 23 or higher on the ACT. The annual cost of attendance for one of Florida Tech's engineering or science degrees is about $43,670 a year, and for other non-STEM degrees, it is $40,260 a year. This includes tuition, fees, books, supplies, room, and board. Although the cost of attending a private university can be expensive, Florida Tech does offer many financial aid options to help make it more affordable. Students are encouraged to complete the FAFSA form, and Florida Tech offers a number of scholarships for academics, athletics, as well as a number of grants. Florida Tech also works with the state to provide eligible students with Florida Bright Future scholarships and Florida State grants. You may also apply your Florida prepaid college plan savings to your Florida Tech education. Florida Tech offers a variety of sports including NCAA Division II basketball, baseball, soccer, volleyball, lacrosse, as well as club sports including rowing, cross country, golf, and many more. Two non-traditional teams to consider are the Jet Dragster team and the eSports team. Florida Institute of Technology is a great school for any student looking to get a top-notch education while remaining close to home. For more information about Florida Institute of Technology and how to apply, log on to FIT.edu. And we're back. Here are a few more announcements. The National Art Honor Society is an organization at Bayside that works on community projects both here and around the world. Meetings are held after school on Fridays. Please see or email Ms. Wiley in room 615 if you need more information. The Hope Ambassadors Club will be collecting unwrapped new toys for the 75th year of the Marine Annual Toys for Tots toy drive. Collection boxes will be lower 600 elevator doors, front office, and the guidance office. To get more involved, contact Ms. Chamberlain in, six, in room 602. They will be collecting toys until Friday, December 16th. Bayside Theater Arts Spring Musical will be Once Upon a Mattress. Auditions will be tomorrow after school. For more information about the musical and to sign up for an audition spot, join the Drama Club Google Classroom. Tennis trials will begin January 17th at 3.45 p.m. on the tennis courts. Please make sure your physical is uploaded to home campus. You will need to bring your racket and water. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Ruverall at ruverall.laura at brevardschools.org. That wraps up this week's edition of the WBBN News. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bayside WBBN. Have a great week, Bears.